I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. The sun is rising in the east. Hope you've had a good breakfast. I'm Madison Lewis. And I'm Mary Timms. And this is your Daily Dose for Tuesday, October 11, 2016. Today is Middle School Throwback Day. Tomorrow is Character Day. Dress up as your favorite characters to show some class pride. This Saturday is the seniors' last homecoming. Now let's go to Tana Porter to see how they feel about their experiences. Hey, Art Jess. Could you ever imagine your last homecoming? Well, the class of 2017 senior year has come fast and expected. On the 15th, the doors will close to their last homecoming days ever. How do you feel homecoming is such a big high school experience? Uh, I think it's such a big high school experience because it's one of the only two dances throughout the school year. Um, I think it's always fun for teenagers to get all dressed up and hair and makeup done and stuff and just... Have a good time with your friends, dancing, listening to music. I think it's just a big part of just being kids and having fun. So I feel like homecoming is so important because it is like the big, the first like big event that you do when you come back to school. It's more than just uh, the high school dance and all the seniors and juniors and sophomores and freshmen coming together. What is your most memorable homecoming? Uh, sophomore year was really fun. I'd have to go with sophomore year. Um, my favorite homecoming was my sophomore year. That was when I had, like, my favorite dress. Are you going with a date or with friends, and why? Uh, I'll be going with a date this time because you got to make it special, I guess. I'm going with a date because apparently that's the thing you're supposed to do when you have a significant other. I'm flying solo for now, but... <laughs> How do you feel about your last homecoming? Uh, it's very sad. Last homecoming, last go-around. Um, I feel it's kind of bittersweet. I mean, I think it's probably going to be my best homecoming, like the most fun, but it's also kind of sad. I'm feeling pretty nostalgic about my last homecoming because this will be my fourth and my final one. Just like that, you're six years old and you take a nap and you wake up and you're 25, then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife. Don't blink. Just might miss your babies growing like mine did. Well, it looks like the seniors are really excited for the last homecoming. I know I would be too. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Tana. Homecoming tickets are on sale for $20 in the counseling office. The Powder Puff game will be played tonight at 6 p.m. Hey, RHS, it's Emma Slifka, and we're going to take a look at the school's annual Powder Puff game. How's your team looking this year? Uh, we're looking pretty fantastic. All I can say is uh, we're going to come out thundering on uh, Thursday or Tuesday night. Uh, they look pretty good right now. Uh, yeah, we have some talent out there. Yep. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, we run plays and stuff, so I think we're going to be the seniors this year. So, yeah. What are you guys doing to prepare? Uh, to prepare, we're just practicing pretty hard, learning the plays, and we're going to put together a strong defense so the juniors won't even score on us. Um, we're running drills before practice, and the coach like goes off in like separate groups, and we go individually, and then we come together as a team and scrimmage and stuff. So I think we're going to be doing it this year. Who's going to make the most impact on your team this year? Uh, Daisy Knapp will make the biggest impact. She's really fast. She's our quarterback, and we expect a lot from her. Um, there's no I in team. It's a team sport, so yep, it's going to be the whole team. How's your team looking this year? Our team is looking very good. We practice all the time, and we're going to beat the juniors. Make sure to come support the junior and senior girls. Now back to the anchors. Now here's Carter Coyne with your sports report. Hey, RHS. I'm Carter Coyne, and this is your sports report. Varsity football beat Trenton 28-14 to with special performances by Alan Woodward, Stephen Bates, and Andrew Mareski. Wyandotte Volleyball plays tonight at Southgate. Freshman at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Come support your Lady Bears. Marching band plays 4th at Livonia Franklin with their best performance yet, earning a score of 82. Remember, it's a great day to be a Bear. Now back to the Anchors. Thanks, Carter. Next week's college visits include Northern Michigan University, Concordia University, Grand Valley State University, Schoolcraft College, and Oakland University. Sign up in the CRC if you are interested in any of these colleges. 
The Michigan State visit has been rescheduled for today during third hour in the LMC mezzanine. Roosevelt's Gay Straight Alliance is meeting after school tomorrow in Mr. Key's room. New members are always welcome. Today after school, the following clubs will be meeting. Chess Club, Gamers Club meets in room A178B from 2.50 to 4 p.m. Chelsea Menswear in downtown Wyandotte is hiring. Chelsea Menswear is looking for an individual to work approximately three hours a day, five days a week doing stock and general cleanup. This is a paid position. See Ms. Z in the CRC for more information. Book club books have arrived. Members can pick up this month's book, Warriors Don't Cry, from Mr. Baker or Mr. Keast. Peer mentor applications are available from Ms. Sudkun now and are due Wednesday. Y News is collecting pictures for the homecoming issue. Make sure you hashtag your pictures, hashtag Bears Hoko, to be featured in the next paper. Happy birthday to Bailey Millward, Donya Rose, Jared Stilson, and Tasia Taylor. Hey Addison, what's the slipperiest country in the world? I don't know what. Greece. Stay greasy, RHS. No. <laughs> Have a good day, RHS. <laughs>